So what would you do for a Klondike bar? Wait, don't answer that. What would you do for a Klondike shake? Wait, don't answer that. What would you do for a Klondike cone? Okay, now you can answer it. Hello, goblins and goblinettes. Welcome back to another edition of Destin to be Goblin. Destin Goblin and Sushi are here. And this is where I will try a food product of some kind, maybe something you didn't even know existed, and I will decide whether or not I should give it my Destin the Goblin seal of approval. <laughs> Alright, Klondike has come out with some new products. Now, as far as these shakes are concerned, uh, these actually came out a while ago, and the only reason that I haven't done these up to this point is because they were so freaking expensive. Um, these things were, everywhere that I found them, they were like almost $10 for one of these packages. Now, fortunately, my grocery store finally had them on sale, and they were a buy one, get one free sale. So that was finally my opportunity to, to try these. I picked up the vanilla. I picked up the chocolate. I'm going to try the chocolate right now. These are 100, let's see, 110, well, this is kind of confusing. It's 110 calories per serving or 150 calories per 100 grams. So I'm not exactly sure what they're referring to here. Um, I don't know how they've sort of changed the numbers. That It's kind of bizarre. Uh, anyways, uh, these are all the, that's the uh, vanillas. The chocolates are 120 calories per serving or 160 calories per 100 grams. So I guess maybe each one of these pouches that are in here is more than one serving. That I did not realize, okay. Um, oh, here we go, okay, per one pouch, 120 calories. So, okay, these numbers are very confusing. We'll just disregard the calories on this one. Uh, but anyways, the way this works is you take these out of your freezer, you let it sit for three minutes, and then it is ready to enjoy just like a milkshake. Now these are the new Klondike cones. These come in several different varieties. The ones I have here are the unicorn and the vanilla. The vanilla chillin. It is vanilla frozen dairy dessert, chocolatey sauce core, and chocolatey coating. The one I'm gonna try is the unicorn. Uh, unicorn dreamin. And that is strawberry and bubblegum frozen dairy dessert strawberry sauce core and a chocolatey coating so you can see that the core is that strawberry right there and you can kind of see some of that chocolate around there and these are 200 uh let's see 220 calories for the vanilla 190 calories for the unicorn so while we're waiting for that shake to thaw for the three minutes i'm gonna go ahead and try one of these unicorn cones so there we go this is obviously the unicorn one it's uh very there we go it says unicorn dreaming on there very brightly colored and here is a look at the vanilla chillin so there we go it's got a nice little top on it right there um these are also available in a lot of other flavors there's a uh, chocolate there is a uh, like a double chocolate uh yeah so there's one package that's two different kinds of chocolates there's one package that is a chocolate and a vanilla together so apparently there is a klondike cone challenge use the cone as a microphone and lip sync some sweet tunes so there you go you can actually have a little game there with your ice cream if you would like i'm just gonna go ahead and eat it so i'm gonna go ahead and unwrap this and as soon as you start to unwrap it the top pops right off so there we go and again this is uh, bubblegum ice cream uh, was it vanilla and bubblegum strawberry and bubblegum with a strawberry core so a little bit hard to unwrap there until you get it started but there we go so there is a look at unicorn dreamin from Klondike. Now you should realize this is a pretty big deal for me to try ice cream because I'm really not much of an ice cream fan. Mrs. Goblin thinks I'm crazy, I know, but really not a big ice cream fan, but here we go. Unicorn Dreamin'. Mmm. Oh, that's actually pretty good. 
the strawberry syrup gives it a nice strawberry flavor and then you do get a bubblegum flavor off of it as well. You can see that strawberry core right there. We're getting to it already. Um, these were in the freezer, so it's not like these were thawed or anything, uh, starting to thaw or anything, um, but it is a softer ice cream. I actually really like the um, bubblegum flavor on that, and I really like that strawberry core. Um, it's sort of like a, almost like a jelly in the middle. It's nice and cool. It's nice and, and refreshing. Uh, very good strawberry flavor on that core. Getting to a little bit of chocolate there. Let's give the cone a, a little bite here. If you're a fan of ice cream, you want something at home other than just a tub of ice cream, you want a little novelty type of item, pretty good. There's eight in a package, four of each flavor. Looks like that strawberry core might be running out a little bit before the end. There's just a little bit of it left there, you can see. Technically, it looks like that core does run all the way to the bottom, but as you can see, it's nowhere near as uh, large of a center as it was up at the top. Well, as far as ice cream goes, that's actually pretty good. I didn't mind that at all. Uh, here is one of those Klondike shakes. So it is in the pouch. Um, this has been out of the freezer for more than three minutes. And I can tell you, this is nowhere near ready to drink as a milkshake. So I think we're going to give this just a little bit longer. All right, it feels like we've got some thawing happening there. So I think we're ready. It, it sat about another three minutes or so. So let's give... Give this a shot here. Let's get this open. Okay, so the top just twists off. And then you have your ice cream. You have your milkshake contained in this nice little pouch with the straw built right in. This is a very bizarre product. Kind of feel like an astronaut. This thing has been sitting out for probably about almost 15 minutes total. And it is still very, very difficult to get out of this little pouch. Um, the consistency is also more like ice cream than a milkshake. Uh, you know how milkshakes have that kind of creaminess to them. Um, this is much more like ice cream, waiting for ice cream to melt. Um, the flavor is good. It's it, it's supposed to be chocolate, um, and it's supposed to be wind down and chocolate, um, but it's almost like a chocolate marshmallow. It does have sort of a marshmallow flavor to it, which is good. The flavor is very good. Just not sure that I like the, the texture or just the product in general. This is bizarre. I suppose if you're at home, you don't want to go out, you don't want to go anywhere, get a milkshake. If you have these on hand, you know, you're, you get a craving for a milkshake, this will take care of it. Um, but otherwise, unless you want to feel like an astronaut, just kind of chewing on one of these food pouches, this is what it reminds me of the most. I'm going to give this thing just a one-star seal of approval. It is a good flavor, but it's just a weird product. One star. <laughs> now, having said that, that unicorn cone, that unicorn dream and cone, that is a three-star seal of approval. Those are very good. <laughs> I don't know. That's weird. I'm going to float away in space and just drift away with my astronaut food. Klondike shakes, if you want to pick these up, they should be in your grocery store right now. They're very expensive. Um, but those Klondike cones, I would definitely look for those. Those are great.
I will catch you next time.